What if I told you that you're here today because of just 1,280 people? That's right. Every single person on this planet, all 8 billion of us, exists because barely over a thousand ancient humans somehow survived the closest humanity has ever come to total extinction. This isn't science fiction. This actually happened, and it's way more terrifying than you think. Picture this, a small neighborhood. A few hundred people going about their daily lives, raising kids, helping neighbors, just living. Seems normal, right? Now imagine this is literally the last place on Earth where humans exist. Everyone else. Gone. Wiped out. Dead. 930,000 years ago, something so catastrophic happened that it killed 98.7% of all humans on the planet. We're talking about an extinction event so brutal that it makes the dinosaurs look lucky. So what nearly ended us before we even began? And could it happen again? Don't forget to smash that subscribe button because this story will blow your mind. For decades, scientists had a hunch that something wasn't right with our family tree. In 1998, anthropologist Stanley Ambrose dropped a bombshell. He noticed something disturbing. Around 75,000 years ago, archaeological evidence just disappeared. Not because we stopped looking, because there was almost nothing left to find. The tools, the campsites, the bones, they all vanished because the people making them had vanished too. But here's where it gets really wild. In 2023, scientists used cutting-edge genetic analysis and discovered something that should keep you up at night. Despite living all over the world, humans are freakishly genetically similar. How similar? We have less genetic diversity than chimpanzees living in the same forest. That's not normal. That's the genetic signature of a species that almost went extinct. All 8 billion of us trace back to a group so small they could fit in a couple of apartment buildings. Let me put this in perspective for you. Between 930,000 and 83,000 years ago, the human population crashed by 98.7%. Read that again. 98.7%. Only 1,280 humans survived worldwide. That's smaller than most high schools. Imagine looking around your entire city, your entire country, your entire continent and finding fewer people than attending a small college. One hundred thousand years, humanity balanced on a knife's edge between survival and total extinction. One bad winter, one failed harvest, one disease outbreak. That's all it would have taken to end the human story forever. You and I exist because somehow, impossibly, those 1,280 people refused to give up. So what nearly destroyed us? Scientists call it the 0.9 million years ago event, and it was a perfect storm of planetary horror. Picture this, massive volcanic eruptions blocking out the sun, global temperatures plummeting, entire ecosystems collapsing overnight. The world our ancestors knew was literally ending around them. Forests died. Animals disappeared. Rivers dried up. The planet became a frozen wasteland where survival meant eating things that would make you sick just thinking about them. But it wasn't just the cold that was killing us. Some scientists think massive floods followed the freeze, drowning huge areas of land. Ocean currents shifted, poisoning marine life. Oxygen levels in the oceans crashed, creating dead zones where nothing could survive. This wasn't just climate change. This was a planetary apocalypse. Here's the truly terrifying part. We weren't the only ones fighting for survival. 
This was like a brutal tournament where most species got eliminated permanently. Homo antecessor, gone forever. These were intelligent, tool-using humans who lived in Europe. They couldn't adapt fast enough. Saber-toothed cats, extinct. These apex predators that had ruled for millions of years couldn't find enough prey. Ancient canids, giant sharks, entire dolphin families, wiped out. The planet became a graveyard of species that couldn't make the cut. But somehow, someway, a tiny group of our ancestors, Homo heidelbergensis, found a way to survive. They built the first real shelters. They mastered fire. They worked together like never before. While everything else was dying, they were evolving the skills that would save humanity. For 100,000 years, Longer than modern humans have existed, our ancestors lived in this twilight zone between existence and extinction. Every day was a fight just to see tomorrow. But then, something incredible happened. Around 70,000 to 50,000 years ago, humanity finally turned the corner. Population started growing. Tools became more sophisticated. And for the first time in hundreds of thousands of years, humans had enough security to create art. Those first cave paintings, they weren't just pretty pictures. They were humanity's victory celebration, proof that we had finally, finally stepped back from the brink. Asterisk, here's what should terrify you. This could happen again. Climate change, Supervolcanic eruptions, asteroid impacts. Our planet has ways of hitting the reset button on life. The only difference is that now we know it's possible that we, we exist because 1,280 people refused to give up when the entire world was ending around them. Every time you look in the mirror, every time you see another human being, remember, you're looking at a miracle. You're looking at the descendants of the most resilient, determined, and lucky people who ever lived. We are all survivors of the closest call in human history. And that's both inspiring and absolutely terrifying. What do you think? Could humanity survive another bottleneck like this today? Let me know in the comments below. And do not forget to subscribe for more mind-blowing science content that LL change how you see the world.